video, we're going to add a fun feature. Uh, if you notice, we have all of our nav items here at the top. However, we are missing some because we've created a whole scaffold for employees and for companies. But in order to get to them, we actually have to come up here and type in companies or employees in order to access those pages. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create a drop down box here using some built in bootstrap tools. Uh, you know, if you have a designer or you have design experience, you can do some things like this. I'm going to show you how you can do it even if you don't have any experience doing that. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is come back to our console and I'm going to create a branch for this. And I'm going to call it adding dropdown. Okay, so we're on that branch now. And so the things that we're going to want to add in are invoices, companies, and uh, employees. So as you can see here on the left hand side, we have all of those right here and it's going to be very easy to call those. The more complicated part is simply going to be adding it into the view. So anytime we want to add anything into the view uh, and it's for anything that's going to be on every page of the site, then if you remember we have to come to views, then go down to layouts and then to application.html.erb. So uh, you'll see this page and you remember we've customized all this in the past and we've even put things like current user so it shows sign out if the user is signed in and vice versa it shows sign in or sign up if the user isn't. So what we want is because invoices and our personnel records, company list, that's something that we only want are authorized users to see. So we're going to put it inside this current user if block and then we're just going to add some HTML and some calls. So the very first thing I'm going to do is add a div and so we'll do div class equals and then btn group which is short for button group and I want to uh, also inside that I want to pull this to the right so I'm going to do pull dash right and then I'm going to put something in just for the future uh, and I'm going to say write nav and that's not anything uh, that's built in with bootstrap we're going to actually build that ourselves in our own CSS file here in a minute so I'll remember to do that so that is the start of our div and now we want to create a button so do the angle brackets and then button. We'll do type. Oh, gonna do type equals button. If I can type. Okay, there we go. So type equals button and class equals btn btn dash mini drop down dash toggle. And then we're going to do data dash toggle equals dropdown. Okay, and so that's where our button is going to be. And because I like to close all my things off, I'm going to actually create this button end tag. And while I'm at it, I think I'm actually going to close out my div as well. I love Nitrous, except every once in a while it can be a little bit tricky, as I'm sure you've seen if you've been following along with the indentation. It doesn't do things quite as automated as I'd like, but besides that, it's fantastic. Okay, so we our button's now going to be created, and so now we just have to decide what we're going to want to call the button, and then also what we're going to want to put inside of it. So uh, first we're going to say what we're going to call it, and I'm also going to give a little arrow. So I'm going to do span class caret, and then end that span call. 
and then span class equals and this is a built-in bootstrap thing just sr dash only and we're just gonna call this admin because this is where some admin kind of content is gonna go and this is actually gonna be the end of this button slot so that is exactly where it needs to go and the way that bootstrap works is we do our button call and then below that we're just going to do an unordered list and the way it's going to know that it's connected to that button and it should go in that unordered the unordered list should be inside of the drop down is by the class that we add to it so i'm going to do ul class equals drop down dash menu role equals menu and that's going to do exactly what you would think that it would do it just lets the uh, it's connected to this drop down nav right up here so when this button gets called this drop down toggle is going to know okay i need to call this drop down menu right below it and the way that it knows it is because in this data toggle attribute we said drop down so it's all connected right here and you don't have to worry about it or know you know why it works it's uh, really just in the background and it's what uh, bootstrap has made very nice and easy for developers so okay so now we just have to decide what we're going to put inside of it so I'm gonna do li which is just a list it stands for list item if you remember back to any ul courses you've ever or um, html courses you've ever taken ul stands for unordered list and li stands for list item so we have li and now we're going to put some uh, embedded ruby in so uh, remember we do the percent sign equals link underscore two and we want the first one to be our invoices so there are our invoices comma and then we're going to do invoices underscore path just like you saw right up here and now because we have it here we're going to be able to get rid of it so we do that percent sign close out the li and we're done so i'm just going to copy this paste it twice and I'm going to have employees and change this to employees path and then companies and switch this up to companies path okay and let me see this should work I don't believe I'm missing anything but if I am I'm sure we will see it here in a second so I'm going to hit save start up the rails server Okay, and now I'm going to come up here and uh, on for cases like this where we're changing some layout options I usually do command shift R or hit shift and then refresh and yeah, just because yeah, that will clear out the cache okay and as you can see in the right hand side we now have our admin button and if you click it we have invoices employees and companies and if we click on any of these it will take us to those specific pages so this is all wired up properly and it's working uh, the only other thing that I do want to change is if you notice on how it's kind of up at the top and it's butting up against the top of the browser I'm not a huge fan of that I'd like to drop it down just a tad and so we're gonna get into a little bit of CSS I don't want this to be a design CSS course however some things just are important to have so I'm going to come to app assets application CSS and as you can see there's nothing there except our uh, import bootstrap call uh, but if you remember how we put that right nav uh, class there in our call that is what we're going to put in right here so all we have to do is do dot write dash nav and then give some curly brackets this is some css syntax so then we're going to do margin dash top 
and 7px, which just stands for 7 pixels. And all this means is I want anything that is in the right nav class to be 7 pixels lower than it is right now. Just add some margin to it. So hit save come back here because if you remember we already put the uh, the right nav uh, class inside of it so hit command shift R and there we go you can see that that's now just a little bit uh, lower so it's centered and it's uh, equal with the rest of the content here on the left hand side so this is looking uh, much better and this way we now don't have to worry about uh, you know typing anything in the URL bar we now have all of our admin functionality right here in this button and we can add to it take away from it very easily and even dynamically so great job if you added that and I will see you in the next video